Hi Hobbyist. Playing ping pong with Arduino is pretty cool. We have already published several vlogs and now we will finally see working inside the ship 80 Mega 328P thanks to the simulator of HTML Studio 7. Wait there. This code was found in from a small electronic things from doing all kinds of fun stuff. And to understand it, we are going to divide it into three parts. This is the first simplification of the setting timer 2 overflow in Arduino object of this video. Let's explore the datasheet, in particular page 428, which gives us the overview of what we will perform in this code. This three register TIMCK2 and TCCR2A, TCCR2B and TCMT2 are used to generate timer to overflow every one millisecond at which interrupt the interrupt service routine is calling to run. The first register to CCR2A are all set to zero. This is normal port operation, not PWM. In this second register, TCCR2B, we are going to set the last but three bytes. This is an clock 64 from Price Carol. In the third register, TIMSK2, we are going to set the last bit, TOIE, time counter to overflow interrupt enable. This is TCMT2, that is the timer counter to counter value. This gives us direct access for write operation to the 8-bit counter. Here we initialize the 6 hexadecimal ending our setting for timer 2 overflow. See this simulation in slow motion. Ok, we're already aware that the system has been configuring so that the overflow of timer 2 occurs every 1 kHz and that the image is refreshed at this rate by 8. The refresh rate of the entire screen via 8 bytes of image memory object is 128 Hz. Every 8 milliseconds the whole screen is renewed and the image being loaded in each line by the Arduino gives us the sensation of movement that the stream flows continuously. Cool, right? Now let's run the code on HTML Studio 7, Simulation 1. Dismiss this page, go to File, New, Project, and choose Create Project from Arduino Sketch. Choose a name, I, I choose Pong Explaining 00, and choose the Arduino Sketch. I choose this one. And then click OK. Now in this page, you have to set your Arduino board and 80 Mega 328P and click OK. All everything will be imported to the project and the 
Studio 7 will start it up to you. Let's wait a minute. There you go. Now you see that HTML Studio 7 create two archive main CPP and sketch CPP. This sketch CPP is your code. Go to this line and double click to set a breakpoint right here and a breakpoint here too. Okay, let's start the debugging. Click right here and we are going to start debugging. Okay, let's Wait the code run. Here you go. Click continue and click simulator and click Ctrl S and dismiss this one. And click the book again. There you go. Now what you see is that our cycle counter is 86. That means that Arduino set the serial port. Now I have to show you one thing. Let's see. By this image, you can see that we are configuring for 2 to 13. And you see that we are in PD2 through PD7 and PD0 to PD5, right? Okay, now choose for D and click step over. One, two, three. And you see for 4D D settings. Okay. Alright. Now choose for D and continue step over. And you see the 5 4D being setting. All right. Now let's continue and see the initialization of interrupt timer. Detach this window right here for you to see the peripheral and choose this one timer to one and click step over. And you see that the TCCR2A are 0 and TCCR2B are 4. And we are setting this right here, R4, 64, free scale. Right? Let's continue. And we see that the TIMSK2 are setting. See that by yourself. All right. T O I E to accept it. This means that the timer interrupt of timer 2 are enabled. Continue, we set the, the TCM T2 to by 6. And you see here that line. Let's continue. Now in the next F10. We are inside ISR routine. Please pay attention to stopwatch on processor status and see what we will get. All right, see that all the operation was done in three microseconds. Let's write continue and continue and continue and we are back to the ISR routine. Only the difference is that we are 1 million microseconds ahead. That represents what we configure of the overflow. You can keep playing, trying to understand the code even more. Here ends the first part. Thank you for your visit and see you soon in the continuation of this tutorial. Bye!